Oh my god. So this is Path to Nowhere, the newest tower defense gacha game to hit the shelves and it's a lot of fun. So if this is your first time hearing about this or if you're on the fence on whether or not to try this game then let me tell you my first impressions and why you should give this game a go. So firstly if you are wondering whether or not to try this game then TLDW give this game a go. It's great especially if you're a fan of Arknights. Now for the reasons why, well first, let's talk about the gameplay. So it's a tower defense game in which you'll place down sinners, characters, in order to defeat enemies and protect your chief, which is you. While it does play similar to Arknights, it has some notable differences. Firstly, as you may have noticed, the characters and enemies are all in 3D, which is pretty cool. It looks really good. Secondly, you'll only be able to place down six characters and these characters cannot be replaced, meaning that if they die, that's it. They ain't coming back, which means you have to be much more careful with your characters and ensuring they don't die. And one way you can do this is by moving them. Yes, so one of the biggest differences between this game and Arknights is that you can move characters after placing them a limited amount of times, usually like 20. Now, this makes it so you are much more involved in the battle rather than placing a character and just forgetting about them. You will often need to move it during the battle as sometimes there are a lot of lanes and the only way to defend the lane is to move a character to it or sometimes if you're against a boss you'll be required to dodge the attacks by moving out of it kind of like in the mmo boss in which they show a big red outline of a future attack and you will need to get out of it or get kicked from the raid group now this gets pretty intense as you will need to do this dodging while using skills of your characters and so there are times when this feels like a starcraft game with the amount of clicking i'm doing now while these are small differences in the grand scheme of things these make parts of nowhere play a lot different to arknights but now one thing that really hits you about this game is the art or more specifically the aesthetic of the game it's very dark very mature this is reflected in the characters that unlike other gacha games actually look like they're older than 13 but also in its story that gets pretty crazy fast and i've been enjoying it quite a bit and i'm not even a big story guy i played Kinshin since release but honestly couldn't tell you about what happened other than Diluc being the best character ever but now gameplay good story good art good but of course, what about the gacha? So firstly, this game has a monthly card, which is good news for light spinners. As for the characters, it will take you 80 pulls to get a S rank character guaranteed with a 50% chance to get the featured one. And then if you don't get that featured one, then you'll get a guaranteed next time. So another game like Genshin, which seems to be the meta of gacha pity these days. But now when you first get in, you'll have a chance to pull from the beginner's gacha, which gets you a guaranteed S rank character. If you're big on rerolling, this is where you'll do it. Now, the only final thing I would like to talk about is about what you do once you've gotten your characters leveled, once you progress through the story, i.e. the end game or the hard content of this game. So once you've completed chapter two and leveled to level 24, you'll get access to two modes in the Deceit page, which are Oblivion Pit and Broken Frontline. So Oblivion Pit is a mode which you face against mobs of enemies that get progressively harder the deeper and deeper you go in. This is pretty fun, although I don't believe this gets reset, but they could add more depth levels later on. The other is Broken Frontline. Now this is pretty fun. It's a boss rush like mode in which you face against three bosses with three difficulties. And depending on how well you do, you get a score. And if you get it high enough, then the next time it refreshes, you'll go up to the next tier. This is really fun as it's not just if you can beat the boss, but if you can beat the boss fast enough to get a high enough score to get the best rewards. So overall, Path to Nowhere is really good. I've been having a ton of fun playing this and will continue to do so. And so if you are a fan of Arknights or just like the look of the game, I highly recommend playing this you will enjoy it but now that is all for this video let me know how you're finding this game down in the comment section below but as always hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next time peace